Hello guys, this is Christian from swim to fly Today we're gonna do a little video to learn how to control your breathing in the water while you are swimming. Uh, we got a lot of requests on YouTube of people, they wonder if we need to blow the bubbles from the mouth, from the nose, or from both together, how to control the breathing and everything. So we will help you today with this little video. Uh, today my cameraman is right here. This is Leo. You are, you're my recognizer from other tutorial we have done together. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's uh, let's talk about how to control your breathing. First thing, when you swim, you're gonna put your head under water, so you're gonna be tired if you don't breathe properly. What you need to do is do not hold your breath. Inside the water, what you want to do is to blow bubbles, get the oxygen out from your body through your mouth or your nose or both together. It actually doesn't matter much. You can blow from your mouth five seconds. When you do not have any more hair, you get out the water, then you breathe in from the mouth. <sighs> when your lungs are full of air again, then you go back in the water and you exhale it another time. You can exhale from the mouth. I will show you on the water how it looks like. So I take a big breath <sighs> and I exhale. Uh, wait, I think I did a mistake. I'm used to blow from the nose, so I will do it again. I blow only from my mouth. <gasps> then I take a big breath. <gasps> and I repeat. You can do so from the mouth, but it works also if you blow from the nose. This time, I will blow only from my nose after taking the hair from my mouth. So I take a big breath with the mouth. <gasps> And I will blow from my nose. <sighs> then I go back up and I take a breath again. So the idea to blow from the mouth or from the nose is actually something that makes you more comfortable. If you have issue with the water going through your nose, I recommend you to blow out from your nose. It is actually great. If you have to, to do a very intense swim, like to swim very fast or for a very long time, sometimes it's easier if you use also your mouth because you can blow stronger and faster. But if it's not necessary, blowing from the nose will avoid you to have water in your sinus or in your nose. It will help you a lot for your swimming and for the comfort. Another big mistake uh, that you might not uh, do is after the blowing, when you get out the water, never ever blow, uh, inhale the water and take a breath from the nose. Whatever you blow in the water for the five seconds to empty your lungs and feel comfortable, after when you exit the water, you need to breathe in, right? Never breathe in from your nose. In case there is a wave, in case there is anything happening, you blow in from your nose, the water will go straight in your sinus and you will be super painful. If you blow, if you breathe in from your mouth, if the water go inside your mouth, you can still control to don't swallow it. But if it's in your nose, it's straight in your nose. So you blow from your mouth or from your nose, but you do not inhale, take the hair from the nose. So once you are able to control this kind of breathing, it's just a matter of how much you can relax yourself to repeat the momentum. So myself, for example, my preference is when I swim any strokes, which is butterfly, breaststroke, backstroke, anything, I will always blow from my nose. And if I need more power, I will use my mouth. But I will always breathe in from my mouth. So how to do it? Let's, let's try to practice just an exercise for you to learn how to relax. Being in the water is actually... So for some person, swimming is actually a bit stressful. You feel like you cannot control so much how to breathe because you're underwater. So a very simple exercise is now you know how to blow your bubble for five seconds. Let's practice where it's shallow, where you can touch the ground. I'm in a swimming pool. I can stand up on my feet. Everything is going to be fine. So I'm here taking my breath. <sighs> Blowing in the water from my nose and from my mouth. 
after my five seconds, taking a breath again. The more I'm comfortable, the more I will go deeper, okay? But still where it is shallow. And then I will try to enjoy the sensation of controlling my breathing. Point one, don't be exhausted. Never be stressed like this. Breathe slowly and easy and try to continue to control that breathing. Feel comfortable. Point two, if you go deeper, you will feel at some point your body gonna start to float by itself. This is completely normal because actually nobody is sinking. We are floating in the water as soon as we go deep enough, okay? So let your, let your body go deeper and deeper and feel the sensation of float, um, and floatability or, when you are in the water. So let's try to practice how it works. So I take a big breath. I blow my bubbles. One big breath and I repeat. I do with my fingers, I count until 5 because I know after 5 seconds it's a good time to go up. Don't blow too fast, <sighs> not good. Don't blow forever either. Try. So I count with my fingers to make sure that I blow for an average of 5 seconds, which is a good average. Now I will try to go deeper and deeper if I feel comfortable. But remember, if you start to stress, if you start to <sighs> get some panic momentum, then forget the exercise to going deep, stay back on the shadow pose. Let's repeat this. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. I go deeper. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. When you can repeat this for like 10 times non-stop going down blowing for five seconds your bubbles without being in panic or in control when there is no stress when you are able to go up take one big breath and repeat this again and again and again try to feel you can float in the water try to don't touch the ground with your feet at some time it feels like you are flying so let that sensation happen feel you can fly you will learn how to be more comfortable with this sensation and you will, it will help you a lot. Um, when, when you learn how to swim, if you, if you feel very stressed with this, don't hesitate to get out of the pool and practice first with a glass of water. You can do the same exercise just with a bowl of water or just with your hands like this. When you get comfortable with it, just go deeper and deeper. You must be completely relaxed to be able to learn how to swim properly. So don't try to, if you fear if you are not able to control, don't try to go through your swimming yet. It's not the moment. First, control your breathing, and then when you feel comfortable with it, then let's start to practice the skill. We'll upload other videos for you to practice your skill in the other strokes, so keep, uh, keep watching the YouTube channel, and remember to download the Swim to Fly app. Uh, I hope to see you again soon, guys. Cheers. <laughs>